Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. It's all oh, snaky. Oh, cheater. Cheater, cheater. Oh, can't, I don't know if he knows that car is there. Oh, oh crap. He's like on ice skates. To get in here and back right. Get squeezed in between me. Look at him widening out. Gutsy, gutsy! That loader, you look right there. He's hugging and kissing that car. I don't know, he better buy a dinner pretty soon if he gets any closer. Alright, he's getting widened out here. What do you guys think? Is he gonna widen out? Or is he gonna go narrow? He's widening out. He's grabbing it and going. Don't go too fast, man. We got cars all around. Cars. Right here, bad move. If that front end gets pushed over, the key walk is back end over. Yeah, come on in. It's a party. Just park anywhere. Have fun. Set up a tent. Talk about your feelings. All right, guys, it's a jam-packed show today, and here's the breakdown. We're going to head up to Canada. We're going to take a look at a brand new snow plowing system that's just coming out. Then we're going to put the exact same snow plow on a Kubota skid loader and a Kubota tractor, both running about the same horsepower and putting them head to head. And here's a quick breakdown of today's video. If you want to get right to the plow battle, go to the 10-minute mark. If you want more information on the snow plow system, go to the 3-minute mark. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into today's video. All right guys, so the plan today is we're gonna fly into Canada into a snowstorm or blizzard so that we can get footage of a new plow system actually in action. Sometimes I don't make the best light decisions. To get from Minnesota to Quebec, Canada, where we're filming, meant that I had to take multiple planes. My first stop was in New Jersey. Now arriving Terminal A, serving gate 20 through 28. Well, we made it to New Jersey, and the best part is, it doesn't smell that bad here. So our next stop is Canada, and before we can take off, they've got to de-ice the plane and spray it down with whatever this stuff is. All right, next stop is Canada, eh? Better start practicing my accent. Maybe grab me a hockey stick and a dead moose so I can fit right in. After I land, it's still another two hour drive through this blizzard into the heart of Canada to meet these two crazy Canadian brothers that created this new snowplow system. Now they do things a little bit different up in Quebec. They prefer tractors with plows in the front and blowers in the back over your traditional skid steer with just a plow in the front. And they've said that they can take a tractor and beat a skid loader any day of the week. And we're gonna find out if that's actually true or not. Let's meet the brothers coming up. Wait, here they come. Hi, here's the guys right now. Hey, and Tim. Yes. Nice to meet you. Alexander. Nice to meet you. All right, so you're the guys that developed this new snowplow system, yeah. right? You're right. So now, if I understand this right, you guys have been manufacturing things for about 20 years, but you just recently created this and polished it and refined it. Is that right? Yeah, this one is the latest version. We do, we built this kit since uh, 2012. Of course, we do uh, snowplow since 20 years also. But this system is on, on, on road since 2012 and the plow in front of this is the latest version. It's on the market since one year. Now this plow can go from 6 foot out to 10, but they have four other models available that can go from 7 to 13 feet wide. And the side wings rotate forward or backward, whether you want to contain or back drag. 6 to 10. Okay. Yeah. That, the, the fun thing about that is, is it's not only the plow, it's the whole system. This system, have a, we call that the linkage, is on top of the, of the tire. 
normally what you what you see is under the tractor. So you create the entire system for a yeah. tractor going from uh -huh. yeah, because it's it's closer from the tractor than uh, loader arms. And the problems with the loader arms, you know, is when you turn, it twists. Okay. Yeah. But this one is is anchored there, and we also have a HD bumper here. Okay. So the impact will take most of the energy okay it's uh, much stronger and we have a parallel linkage when you have a loader arm if you remember when you lift it and you drop it you have to calculate that the plow will go forward by maybe six to eight inches with this system we don't have this issue for these guys they use these tractors to get in tight to garage doors and they want to be able to know exactly where those loader arms are landing you don't need to calculate it. You, you go close to the door, just drop it, and back drag the snow. Now you have, so you've created the linkage for a tractor, but you've also created the plow. <laughs> so before we get into the plow battle where we put the tractor versus the skid loader, let's get you familiar with the tools that we're going to be using. This is a Kubota tractor and a Kubota skid loader both running this new Kotex plow and this plow is designed to let you back drag and then switch, hit a button and contain going forward. Let's take a closer look at how this actually works though. Alright guys, so I call this being in foreign territory to be honest with you. Um, it shouldn't be. I grew up running a tractor first and foremost, but man, when you don't use it, you lose it, right? So to make this go in and out, it's pretty simple. That's how she operates when you want to go out. Then when you want to reverse the wings, you click the button right here and you flip it over to the side when you want the wings to go back. The plow they make for the skid loader is actually identical to the plow they make for the tractor. There is no difference except for the linkage. How they connect it to the machine, which is a critical element. They've got a special floating linkage for the skid loader that helps keep the plow in contact with the lot. So before we get into the plow wars, I actually asked Entian and his brother if they'd take me on a tour of their manufacturing facility where they actually build these things. Well, we're gonna take a real quick, quick, queef? I think that's a girl fart. A real quick look at how they actually make these things. So let's do that right now. So all of these plows are manufactured in-house right here in yeah. Quebec, right? Yes. Yeah. So I thought this was a pretty interesting story. Entian actually started this entire business from scratch and he had to beg, borrow, and steal to buy his very first used piece of equipment. But I'll actually let him tell the story. And that was crazy. I had to work two shifts, one shift at another factory with my brother during the night for five years. and go and working during the day in our factory to be able to, to build some capital. Just to build up enough capital to buy your first used machine. machine. <laughs> yeah. And then you just kept bankrolling and reinvesting until you were able to come up with this, which is now you have a 20,000 square foot warehouse here, manufacturing yeah. facility in the second one, five minutes down the road. Yeah.
That welding mask worked pretty good up there. <laughs> NTN's company makes a lot more than the snowplow you've seen earlier in the video. That's just their latest design. Here's one of their older designs, which you may recognize looks similar to a Metal Plus. They also make a lot of OEM for Kubota up in Quebec, Canada. All right, guys, it is tractor versus skid loader. And let me introduce you to the team. We've got NTN, the owner of Kotec. His brother Alex, also owner of Kotec. And then who do we got here? You want to introduce Bernard. them for me? Bernard is a professional driver. Professional driver. Yeah. So Fernand is going to be in the tractor. NTN, you're going to be in the skid loader. And what we're going to be doing is one of you guys gets this side of the lot and they have to push over to that pile. The other piece of equipment gets the other side of the lot and they got to push over to there. Both sides are basically the same lot. They do have a little bit of different amount of cars in them. This side has a little bit less cars. This side has a little bit more. So it's a matter of who wants to back drag more or not or work around more cars or less cars. So to make it fair, since we can't make them guys ask them to leave, we're going to flip a coin. Does that sound like a game plan? Yeah. All right. You flip the coin. It's going to be heads or bears. So you got to call it. Who's calling it? NTN, you want to call it? Bear. Bear. All right. Flip the flip the head. Bear. Bear. All right. I'll take this one and I I'll beat him at heart. All right. <laughs> All right. So NTN, you get this side of the lot. Fernand. You get this side a lot. You guys got to wait for me to hit the go button, which is basically my nose picker. When I go like this, that means it's on like Donkey Kong. And Fernand, you don't speak any English, so you have no clue what I'm saying, right? Not bad. Okay, <laughs> all right, good. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three, go! gathered up. Man doing his first push down the hill. Over here, we've got NTN. Back dragon. Oh, the good track. Good track. Good track. You guys want to know how good this track works? Oh, you can see it right now. They go. tracks perform in snow well you're going to see that right here right now already got his second third clear path up and down while NTN is struggling just to get down the hill oh there he goes he's finally got his first now he's getting now he gets to use gravity in his favor he can't get anywhere 
He's just having no problem. Physics, physics we'll call it, helping out. All right, look at this. Now side hill. Tractor, no problem. Okay, he's getting hung up on his wall. Look at that. Oh, oh! This old oh, Nike. This old. Oh, dang, I'm glad I'm not driving today. All right, he winds out. He winds out. Keep going. All right, cleaning. Okay, so this is the stop pile. You got that turning. You got to watch out. He's got a big booty. That tractor's got a big booty. And this is a tight lock. This is perfect for these clouds. This is the ability to sneak in and out. How's this skid loader doing? Here we go. Oh, cheater! Cheater, cheater, pumpkin! Look at that! Alright, if you can't beat him, join him. He's going bass backwards. That's how they do it in Canada. They just do everything bass backwards. Oh, they don't. We got an audience up in the second story. There they are, watch. They want to know. Why would they want to know? Come on, MTN, make that baby sing. Let's go. Squeeze your tight and make it right. Let's go. Here we go. Booyah. Get it done. Okay, how is this track? Let's go over here. Oh, oh. Did you guys see that? You see how close he came? I don't know if he knows that car is there. I'm not going to let him hit it. But he must know. I mean, that's tight. Oh, man. That's tight. That's scary tight. This is a big lot. This is a tight one. All right. Is he going to widen out here? What do you guys think? Is he going to widen out? Or is he gonna go narrow? He's widening out. He's grabbing it and going. Don't go too fast, man. We got cars all around. Here. The man's getting. Look at the speed. Look at. He's got to squeeze between this car and this truck. He's got to get the rest of this down the hill. That old guy up there, that guy's going to get himself killed if he doesn't watch out. Earlier today, he just walked right behind the skid loader while it was working. Skid loader, this skid loader's going to have one heck of a time on this side slope. He was nervous as a long tail cat in a room full of rocking chairs about this side hill. This is where he was dreading it. Let's see how the tractor's doing. Okay, he's getting his second one. Ntn or Fernand's almost done with this one. Ntn up here. I think if he had snow tracks, it would be a tater battle. You guys tell me. Well, 
Fernand is doing that, and Jen is coming down the hill. And he's gonna push. Here comes Antienne. Break down the hill. Come on, Antienne. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, he's just can't move. The man's on his final pushes right now. So some of you guys may be asking, why is there such a difference in performance between these pieces of equipment? We tried to match them up as tight as possible. Both the tractor and skid loader are made by Kubota and have similar horsepower in the 60 plus category range. All right, the man's too wide. He's got to narrow up to get in here and back drain. Good squeeze in between me. Look at him widening out. Gutsy, gutsy! Oh, that was close. This guy is going crazy. With the sheer ice underneath here, every time I run, I'm sliding. What's he gonna do? He's grabbing it. He's gonna angle it between. He's squeezing between the cars. Right here, bad move. If that front end gets pushed over, the two walk the back end over. Canadians folks. These are guys that plow snow 364 days a year. They take that one day off so they can go eat breakfast and uh, look for dead moose on the side of the road. That car behind him, I don't know if he sees it. I love it when cars just randomly pull in behind people. That's so smart of them. That loader's getting tight too. That loader, you look right there. He's hugging and kissing that car. I don't know, he better buy a dinner pretty soon if he gets any closer. We got the loader coming. Okay, Superman, he's pushing and pushing. All right, where is he gonna go? Look at them tires spinning, he doesn't have to go. What the what? Oh, he misses it by inches. He's like, oh, I got that. I could have fit a Canadian quarter in there. the party. Just park anywhere. Have fun. Set up a tent. Talk about your feelings. Watch the crazy Canadian. Watch how close it comes. This, he's just been doing this the whole time. He just slides it right in there, widens it out, and keeps going. That's what she said. And Tien still got to get this entire thing up into there, and I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Not with them uh, snow tracks on or them dirt tracks on. Tractor's done. He's done. He's claimed victory. It's not close. Tractor one. Tractor one. And has got to drive his snow home yet. He hasn't done it. Problem is, is he couldn't get enough traction going up this little bit of a hill to drive it the rest of the way home. This was his kryptonite. You lost! What's your water? 
I think you lost, Antien. Me? I think you lost. The tractor's got all of his snow home on top of the pile. Oh, he's pushing snow on my side. Now he's just helping you out. Oh. <laughs> so now, because this pile still has to go all the way up to there. You think? That's where it was supposed to go. That's, oh, what I, okay. that's what I think. That's what I think. I think we're going to call for reinforcements and finish cleaning this up. All right, you guys, tell me what you think of today's video. We had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I don't get hit while I'm doing this closing. Let's, uh, let's meet with the team real quick and we'll sign off, all right? All right, you guys, so you think you won? <laughs> no, to be honest, uh, I screwed somebody because I did not clean it properly in the uh, in the hill because I was sliding on the car, I just dropped. <laughs> and, I, and you got stuck here, you couldn't even push up this little bit of an incline. So, so I think, I think on today's video, I think we do have a clear winner. I think the tractor won. Alex, what do you think? Tractor? I think the tractor won. Okay, and you? To be honest, by far they won. Okay, <laughs> alright, you guys tell me in the comments down below who do you guys think won? And that's our video for today. Big thanks goes out to these guys for helping me make this video. I can't make a tractor versus skid loader video on my own. These are the guys at Kotech. If these guys want more information on your plow system, where would they go? Uh, on our website, uh, www.kotech.ca. That's CA. So, and again, they build plows of every size, you guys. Not just for small skid loaders and small tractors, but we're talking about monster loaders, monster tractors, winged plows, everything you can think of. These guys make right up in Quebec, Canada, right? Yeah. Where we build snow, also. That's where. <laughs> yeah. You can keep it. They keep shipping it down to my neck of the woods. And that's all we got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless. Go get them, you guys. And while you're here, do me a favor. I'm going to pop up a couple videos. Watch them, and we will see you guys on the next one. Hope you had fun. Does that payloader have a license plate on it? Yeah. What? No choice. It's on the road. Give a plate. You're kidding me. You don't have a plate on yours? No. You're all low. What? You're out low. <laughs> God, guys. We don't know. Nobody in the United States has a plate on their payloader. <laughs> okay. I've never seen, at least I've never seen one. Maybe some of the states, individual states, got to have something, but there's a license plate on that thing. You have license plate on everything. Even the, the machine off road. Off road machine. It's free tax. <laughs> it's what? Free tax. Thank you.